One of the most recognizable figures in Greek mythology, Medusa, is one of the Gorgon sisters, three hideous female monsters with snakes for hair, and the ability to turn a person to stone just by looking at them. While many have heard of Medusa as a hideous creature, her interesting, even poignant backstory is often ignored. Medusa is more than just a monster. Today, she's recognized as a multifaceted character, one who was wronged. Here is her story. Unlike her Gorgon sisters, Medusa was beautiful and the only Gorgon sister who was mortal, although we don't know how she could be the only mortal daughter born to immortal beings. Her parents were either Gaia and Forces or Sito and Forces. Beyond the Gorgon sisters' birth, there is little mention of them as a group, and little is known about them. While Medusa was mentioned as far back as in Homer's Iliad, it's in Ovid's Metamorphosis that we get a detailed story of her life. According to this version, Medusa's beauty was so remarkable that the sea god Poseidon found her irresistible and tried to seduce her. However, when she did not reciprocate, he attacked her and raped her right inside a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena. Finding out about this, Athena was awakened with anger by what had happened within her hollowed halls. But Athena did not punish Poseidon for the rape he had committed. Instead, she decided to punish Medusa. Why did Athena punish the victim? This could have been because Poseidon was her uncle and the powerful god of the sea, which meant that technically only Zeus could punish him for his crime. It could also have been that Athena was envious of Medusa's beauty and the attraction that men had towards her and wanted a reason to get rid of her. There is also the argument that Athena wanted to protect Medusa from the perverted gaze of men, and so she made her hideous and gave her the powers to kill those who looked at her. Whatever the reason, Athena transformed Medusa into a monster, with snakes growing out of her head and a deadly stare that would immediately turn anyone to stone if they looked into her eyes. Some versions say that as a result of the rape, Medusa gave birth to Pegasus, the winged horse, as well as Chrysaur, the hero of the golden sword. However, in other versions, her two children sprang from her head after she was slain by Perseus. This brings us to Perseus, a demigod, the son of Zeus and Danae. Perseus is one of the greatest heroes of Greek mythology. He was sent on a quest to kill Medusa, and with help from the gods, notably Athena, and his intelligence, courage, and strength, he successfully located and beheaded her by using his shield as a mirror to avoid direct eye contact while battling her. Even after her beheading, Medusa's eyes were still powerful. Perseus used his severed head as a powerful weapon to slay the sea monster, Cetus, and save Andromeda, the Ethiopian princess, who would become his wife and bear him children. As a result, Medusa's head has become a symbol of protection, protecting and warding off negativity. This is, in essence, all of Medusa's story. The depictions of Medusa have changed over the years, reflecting the evolution of how her story has been viewed. During the Archaic periods, Medusa was depicted almost comically, painted on pottery and sometimes carved into funerary monuments. She was a terrible-looking creature with bulging eyes, full beard, and a lolling tongue. During the Classical period, the representations of Medusa began to change, and her features were increasingly feminized. She had smoother skin, and her lips became shapelier. Roman and Hellenistic writers interpreted her story differently in an attempt to explain her origins. Artists took note of these changes and featured it in their works, making the images of Medusa more human. However, her fate is sealed, and regardless of how many makeovers she has gone through, she still dies at the hand of Perseus. While it might be easy to dismiss Medusa as simply an obstacle that the hero Perseus had to overcome, a deeper look shows complex interpretations. Silencing Powerful Women The beheading of Medusa can be seen as symbolic of silencing powerful women, as this article from The Atlantic puts it. In Western culture, strong women have historically been imagined as threats requiring male conquest and control. Medusa is the perfect symbol of this. Rape Culture Medusa has been stigmatized and unjustifiably been blamed for the consequences of male lust. She was unfairly blamed for provoking a god with her beauty. Instead of punishing her abuser, Athena, supposedly the goddess of wisdom, punished her instead. It can be said that Medusa is an ancient representation of sexual stigma that still happens today. It's still a matter of contention that rape victims are often blamed for the rape, 
and in some cultures are vilified, ostracized, and labeled damaged goods by society. Femme fatale. At the same time, Medusa is the archetypal femme fatale, symbolizing death, violence, and erotic desire. Such is her beauty that even powerful men couldn't resist her charms. She can be equally enchanting and dangerous, and she can be fatal. She remains one of the most identifiable femme fatales even today. Today, the symbol of Medusa as a powerful threat continues to resonate in the modern world. Modern powerful women have proudly worn a head full of snakes to depict power, sexuality, and the acknowledgement of their emerging role in society and politics. Others have been portrayed with a head full of snakes, symbolizing women's growing power and the threat they pose to the authority men have traditionally held in certain roles. Some famous female names associated with the image of Medusa include Rihanna, Oprah Winfrey, Martha Stewart, and Condoleezza Rice. Medusa is also portrayed on the Versace logo, surrounded by the Greek meander pattern. She can also be found on the flag of Sicily and on the coat of arms of Dohalis, Czech Republic. Beautiful, dangerous, powerful, and yet a tragic figure. These are just some of the words used to describe Medusa. Such is her appeal that she terrifies and awes at the same time. Yet while many see Medusa as a monster, her backstory shows her as a victim of lust and injustice. Her undeniable appeal will live on as her story is told from one generation to another. What do you think about Medusa? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel grow so we can continue making content like this. Thanks for watching.